All right, this is going to be a general uh, reaction rates type of problem. So the problem says that suppose we have the following equation. We have NH3 plus O2 yields NO plus H2O. And it says that in the first 10 seconds of the reaction, the concentration of NH3 decreased from 0.8 molar to 0.4 molar. And the question is asking, what is the average reaction rate in this time interval? So in order to solve this, we're going to go back to our um, trusty rate equation. And it says that any time you have A moles of A plus B moles of B yields C moles of C plus D moles of D, the rate can be expressed by the following terms. So it says that rate is equal to negative 1 over little a times the change of concentration of a over the change in time, which is equal to the negative of 1 over little b times the change in concentration of b over the change in time, which is equal to 1 over little c times the change in the concentration of c over change in time, which is also equal to 1 over little d times the change in con concentration of d over the, over the change in time. So that's a pretty long-winded equation, but notice that all four of these quantities are equivalent. So that means that, you know, we're going to go with the one for which we have the most information, and that is NH3. So and one thing we should point out here is that these two equations apply to the balanced chemical equation for the reaction. So if we look at this equation, NH3 plus O2 yields NO plus the H2O, is that equation balanced? Are the coefficients 1, 1, 1, and 1? No, they're not. See, over here you have three hydrogens, and over here you just have two. So we've got to balance this thing before we do anything. So let's go ahead and do that. The coefficients are 2, 2, 2, and 3. And, by the way, if you need a video on balancing chemical equations, I have a couple of them. So, we're going to find the rate using the change in the concentration of NH3 and also the time interval given. So the change in the concentration of NH3 That's just going to be the final concentration minus the initial concentration. So that's just going to be 0 0.4 molar minus 0 0.8 molar, which is equal to negative 0 0.4 molar. Why is it negative? Well, think about it. NH3 is a reactant in this equation, so it's getting used up, and so its concentration must be decreasing. So that means the change in concentration will be negative. So that negative sign makes sense. And then delta T is simply given by the problem. It says that it's 10 seconds. So now all we have to do to solve for the rate is we take one, the negative of 1 over the coefficient that is in front of NH3, which in this case that's 2. And we're going to multiply that times delta concentration of NH3 over delta T. We said that delta concentration of NH3 is going to be negative 0. 4 molar, that's from this, and then our delta T of course is just 10 seconds. So in our equation to determine the rate we're going to take negative 1 half times negative 0 0.4 over 10. 
0 0.4 over 10, that's 0 0.04. And if you take negative 1 half of negative 0 0.04, you'll get positive 0 0.02. The units are in molar per second. We're taking molar concentration and dividing it by seconds. Molar per second can also be expressed in moles over liters times seconds, which is also equivalent to moles liters to the minus one, seconds to the minus one. These are all three this, the same, you know, they're just different ways of th saying the exact same thing. So that is how you find the rate of a reaction given one, the balanced chemical equation and the change in the concentration of one of the reactants or products and the change in time.